What is up guys? We are back with another BIOS video and this time we are checking out the BIOS on the Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Ultra motherboard. As I always say, these BIOSes should be pretty much the same across the entire Aorus Z390 line. I do have to mention that this BIOS has been changed slightly since the Z370 line, um, just a little bit cosmetic things and some things have changed. So we do have this newer easy mode, which you can see right here. Um, you can toggle between classic and easy mode by hitting F2. You can just go back between the two, but easy mode is great, um, especially if you're a beginner here. It gives you all of your information right here on your board, on your BIOS version, your processor, your CPU speed, temperatures, and voltage, as, as well as the stuff for the memory. Over here, you can see your DRAM status. So you can see we have four 8 gig DIMMs here um, and our XMP profile is enabled. If you wanna disable or re-enable it, you just click there. It's just that easy. Uh, boot sequence, we only have one drive installed, but if we had more than one, um, you would see it right here. You can see all of our SATA devices right here. If we go to PCI Express, again, you can see we have one card installed and M.2, we don't have any M.2s installed, but if you did, you can see them all here. So I kind of like this, this is a change where you can kind of see the different devices you have installed. Uh, Smart Fan 5, it just shows all of our fans. We only have a CPU fan running, but uh, you can see the speed there. And over here, Easy OC, um, you can go between energy saving performance and silent. Intel rapid storage technology, you can turn it on or off. Here you can change the uh, language. Of course, we have it set to English. Q flash that allows you to easily flash your BIOS. So, you know, if you're going to update your BIOS, which you should be doing, uh, you know, over time, you can easily do it right here. Favorites, that brings you to your favorites mode, which we'll show you. And then we have Smart Fan 5. This allows you to fully tune your fans. You can select the different fans. Uh, the fan headers on the uh, motherboard itself and set your custom fan curve. You can also set up temperature control warnings and CPU fan warnings. So again, like if for some reason your CPU fan fails, it will give you a warning uh, right there. And we have all of our uh, temperatures right here. So again, if something's off, something's not working correctly, maybe you forgot to take that little uh, piece of plastic off your CPU cooler and, and your CPU is running really hot, you can see all of it right here. Get out of that and then we'll go into the classic mode. And of course, for most people, this is where you're gonna do all of your tuning and all of your tuning is done in the MIT. Um, so first we'll start with advanced frequency settings. This is where you're gonna set everything up for your CPU for the most part. So um, here, you know, you have your base clock values, you have your uh, CPU clock ratio. Of course, that's what you're gonna wanna change if you're gonna be overclocking and all of that. We can go into advanced CPU core settings. Um, these are all different, you know, ratios and your Intel, you know, turbo boost and stuff you're gonna wanna do. Your power limits, um, these again, this is what you're especially for the package power limits you are going to want to change these if you're going to be overclocking um and all of that we can go we you know we can go over that in another video we might do a video on overclocking on z390 but power limits are definitely something you're going to want to change but you have everything here uh for your cpu um all of this stuff that you're going to want to you know change or turn off or anything like that is right in here we also have our uh, XMP stuff. So again, you can easily select profile or disable it. And then your memory multiplier, reference clock and odd ratios, um, all of that right here. And one thing I didn't point out is over here, you have a real time view of your CPU memory and voltages just to have it over there. Um, and you can easily click it and it just goes away. So we'll go out of that advanced memory settings, same thing. So you have your XMP stuff here um, and you can change more things like you can, um, you know, your timing mode can be auto, but you can set it to manual or advanced manual. And then you can of course adjust all of your timing. So again, if I didn't have this on auto, I can go ahead and adjust all of my timings and everything like that. If I fully want to, you know, control my memory, I can go ahead and do that. Advanced voltage settings. Um, so you have a, a bunch of different things here. So power settings, um, that's your load line calibrations, your CPU core voltage, this is all your voltages to do with your CPU. Um, everything is in here. So again, you can adjust all of this. Again, most of it's set on auto by default. 
your chipset voltage control just that's just your pch core oops i just changed it <laughs> we'll just go back and just type in auto so what's great about this if you mess anything up you can just type in auto and it will just go back dram voltage control this of course is your dram voltages and your internal vr control um, that's all this stuff that you can go through and change going out of there pca or pc health status this is just like you can you know reset case open status um all and then just all of your voltages are right in here miscellaneous settings um max link speed in 3d mark 01 enhancements and then favorites so you do have a favorites menu um this stuff is in here by default but you can easily add and take things off from your favorites so if you have a setting that you you know you always go into and change on a you know constant basis it's just easy to put it in here instead of going through multiple menus to find it all of your things are right here and you can easily access them and then smart fan 5 it's the same thing that we showed you on the easy mode it's just accessible in the uh default mode as well and you have all of your stuff there we'll go over to system and this just shows you know the the board we're using the bios version and all that stuff so this is great just just to see uh what bios you are running if you did do a bios update and it, just to make sure it, it took you can check your bios version and all that stuff um and then under bios this is just like you know you can set your boot options your mouse speed full screen logo things like that uh administrator and user passwords all that kind of stuff you can set up under peripherals this is everything of course that's on the board so you know you can set up easy raid you can set up um you know the leds like some people even want their leds on when the system is turned off um you can actually set that up so if you really like the rgb lighting on this board and you want it to show even when your system is powered off you can actually turn it on here um usb3 dac up stuff um you can turn that on or off and uh onboard sata controller um of course we have no, no pc express uh, ssds but they would be there if we had one tpm stuff super io usb configuration um obviously you want le legacy usb support turned on it is turned on by default but you have all this stuff for usb network stack configuration um you can turn that on or off and nvme again no nvme devices but if we did have it you would see it in there plug-in devices info again this just gives you info on what's plugged in and then sata and rsd so we can see all of our satas and you can enable and disable different features for each drive that you have plugged in and then the ethernet um, you can see all of that you can actually turn the leds off if you want and, and different things like that um, and then we go to the chipset um, you can set the internal graphics on or off you can obviously enable or disable the audio controller the LAN controller all that stuff you can turn on or off oops and under power um this is just everything to do with power so like you know resume by alarm um all that stuff power loading things like that you can change oops i keep on doing that and then we go to save and exit um so you can lose load optimize defaults which i love to see um sometimes i just mess things up and i just want to go back to the optimized defaults so you have that option here you also have boot override which i love so you know say we want to load windows from a flash drive you can you know do the boot override and load that flash drive first before anything else and then when you know you're installing windows and it does its restart you can go ahead and uh you don't have to worry about setting your boot priority to something different than the flash drive um it would just load it once and then it will go back through your new normal boot priority which is nice um and then you can save and load profiles as well so i really like this bios um it looks a little bit different like it's more orangey for the Aorus and everything like that there is help here as well so like this gives you all of your general help stuff um again q flash uh which we don't have a drive installed to show it to you but you have that there as well and again the easy mode is great um i i don't think there's anything missing on the easy mode again the two biggest things that you want to set up when you're you know doing your initial build is your boot sequence which we can easily do right here and then you can just drag these oops 
um, if you have more than one drive installed. But and then DRAM status, you want to turn your XMP profile on. That's typically what you want to do. Most people are going to run their CPU at auto. Um, but if again, if you want to, you know, change that, you can go in here and, and switch everything like that. So it is a very easy to use BIOS. Um, and one thing that uh, I want to mention too is that when you exit or you know you can save um, it lets you know what you modified so you know how I messed up that PCH core and I put it back from auto to auto it just shows that change so again it's gonna give you a notification of what you changed before you save so that's good if you like accidentally hit something or accidentally change something it's gonna show you on screen um, so that is it guys if you have any questions about this BIOS or where a setting is or something like that go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe if you enjoy our tech content. We'll see you guys in the next video.